the new research uh, is yet another piece, important piece of evidence showing that it's really time we stop hitting the snooze button and wake up to the climate emergency. We need to curb climate emissions right now, immediately, and we need to create a network of ocean sanctuaries uh, covering at least a third of, of the blue planet if we are to take uh, climate crisis seriously. I think there would be a lot more, uh, I'll say, thicker ice or older ice and not so broken up. As you can see now, uh, we're moving through the ice very easily with the ship here. It's, I would say, two-tenths of ice coverage on the seawater here. And a lot of it's old ice that's been breaking off the glaciers that are breaking up and breaking off the ice edge, uh, I'll say like the permanent ice edge that exists, it's getting smaller and smaller every year. The climate in the Arctic is changing dramatically and rapidly. And it's changing so fast that it's transitioning to a new climate where the new climate can't be predicted by the recent past. In other words, the Arctic has warmed so significantly that its year-to-year -year variability is moving outside the bounds of past fluctuations, signaling that it's transitioning to a new climate. The green fish ship Arctic Sunrise is here, uh, here on, the, on the very edge of the Arctic sea ice to document the sea ice minimum that is said to be a near record low this year. Uh, we want to research the life that is hidden under the, under the ocean surface to understand better what it is there to protect. And we want to make sure that world leaders um, understand the urgency of the climate crisis and they understand the role of, the, of healthy oceans in tackling the climate crisis. Thank you.